I'm really excited about the rug that I have in front of me to clean today because not only is it made in Ireland by a company called Cadigan in Wexford, the owners of Cadigan Rugs actually dropped this into me to clean, which is really, as a rug cleaning expert, quite an honor that the owners of a rug makers decided to drop one of their treasure pieces into me to look after and take care of. Not only that, but the guys in Cadogan Rugs have also said that I can come down to them in Wexford to actually film how they make the rugs, which is gonna be in an upcoming video, which I'm so excited about. I can't wait to show you guys just how a needle punch rug like this is made. So down to how we're actually going to clean it. So the rug is a needle punch. That means it is a rug that is punched using a needle puncher onto a grid. In this case, it's wool to make the pattern of the rug. And once that's done, a latex glue is put on the back to hold all of the fibers in place. This particular rug is 20 years old, though Cadogan Rugs was actually founded in 1981, which coincidentally is the year that I was born, though this rug is 20, not 40, unfortunately. So how am I gonna clean it? Well, I've got a four to five stage process, depending on what way you look at it, which I'm gonna run through the steps as I do it. But the first step, as always, is 95% of soiling in a rug, carpet, upholstery, or anything you're trying to clean that's made of fabric is dry you can get it out dry so we spent about 45 minutes actually vacuuming this rug to get all of that dry soil out rugs generally tend to change color as you're vacuuming and this was no different The second stage then, I mixed up some eco-friendly colloid, which is a pH neutral cleaning solution. And that's gonna tackle most of my water-based soiling in the rug. And I then padded the rug down with the eco-friendly product. The reason I'm using that is it's not gonna damage or scorch the wool the way an alkaline or a detergent would. It's also not gonna leave any residues in it. And as hopefully you know by now, if you've been watching the channel, residues attract soil at an accelerated rate. So if there's no residues, there's no dirt magnet in the rug to pull soil in or for soil to cling onto. So the rug will then stay cleaner longer. Roughly 50% of the soiling came out of the rug at this stage, but I then needed to move on to a micro splitter with a peroxide in it. Now the peroxide is gonna deal with any tannic soiling. So teas, coffees, red wines, or any beverage spills that have tannins in them. And again, less is more. You can see that I'm using the bucket transfer method to pad the rug down, work very gently on any spots and stains around the rug. And we're now on about 80, 90% removal of the stains that are in the rug and most of the soil is gone at this stage. Third stage then, or fourth if you're including the vacuuming, is I'm gonna put tiny pea-sized amounts of solvent on any of the remaining spots and use a bone spatula and a tamping brush to just tease them gently out of the rug. The final stage then to neutralize the slight alkalinity from the micro splitter and deactivate the peroxide is to acid rinse the rug and pull all of the remaining soil out into our extraction machine. I'm only actually gonna run through about two to three liters of water through the rug. I'm gonna dry it off then, and we're left with hopefully a rug that the client is delighted with, and hopefully we'll give the rug another 20 years of existence. Last thing I'm gonna do is trim off a couple of little loose fibers, and the rug is ready to go back to the client. After I visit Cadogan and I do that video, I'm gonna put it in a placeholder here at the end of this one. So do stay tuned. You'll see it on the channel if you hit that subscribe button. Carl here from Cleaning How To. A really enjoyable clean of an Irish rug. Thanks for watching.